watching Mary Poppins, okay. and I didn't like mm-hmm. it as much because I didn't mm-hmm. like humans. I don't know. I rather. <laughs> <laughs> Nerd On. What's up, everyone? Welcome to Nerd On, the podcast you didn't need, but you deserve, and where all levels of nerd are welcome. I'm Josh, yeah. one of your hosts, Ollie, Tom, Corey, and we have a special guest. We have a, I'm just going to call her a YouTube celebrity. Um, in she the is. commercial world, they call it uh, an influencer. Influencer, Influencer, yes. She is a YouTube... I think I like YouTube celeb better. Okay, you go. I I, I call it. I'm into it. (laughs) So, YouTube celebrity, we have Ali Spagnola. Um, Hello, hello. What is up? Thank you for uh, coming on. We're so excited about this. Thanks for having me. Yeah, I'm stoked. From your website, you are musician, comedian, artist, exceptional high-fiver, which I appreciate. Is there anything else (laughs) you'd like to tell our audience about yourself? No, that's all of that. (laughs) Yeah, that's the only thing. (laughs) And scene. Okay. Um, <laughs> yeah, I think that's important. So I, I think what we'd, I'd like to start off with just some questions about you. Like, um, mm-hmm. just because I want our audience to know you, we've we've watched some of your videos. I've watched a ton of them. I know that Tom has. You're you're a little bit of an inspiration to me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you're going to change Thank Tom's uh, life, like day-to-day life. My outlook in life. Yeah. 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 It's, it's, been, it's been crazy. Um, so tell our audience a little bit about what you do. I know that... You have your little kind of your catchphrase, but what what is it that you do? Um, I make music and outrageous things, uh, comedy. I do some fitness stuff now, too. Depends on where you're looking, I guess. I don't know. I just try and um, make cool stuff for the Internet and show everyone. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Pretty straightforward. Nice. Yeah. I dig it. Um, lately, at least for me, I, I've been I've been seeing some of the newer stuff. No, nah, not really. I've been going through your playlist. And then I've been seeing a lot of the food stuff. And then I see like it's like oyster or like sushi boat. Do you only try to do like food challenges if it's seafood or will you try to do like other things too? It's weird that that just happened. It's because I love seafood. I'm like, well, if I'm going to eat a whole ton of something, if I'm going to eat a boat of something, I would like it to Might be well. sushi, not red meat. Yeah. But okay. um, no, I certainly would like to branch out. I have some plans to eat as much popcorn as I can against my buddy Max. Um, I was trying to eat a boa constrictor. Whoa. on um, Valentine's Day this past year. And it apparently is illegal in LA or something. I'm still working on it. It might be next year that I nail it. Find a way. Yeah. Damn. Find a way. Um, are there any other challenges that you've done before that haven't been shown on your channel? Because I'm, I'm a big foodie. Oh, I, I mean, okay. I think foodie is like the politically correct term. I call it fatty. I'm a big <laughs> fat say, fatty. Yeah. Yeah. I'm a big fat fatty. Uh, so I've done like... Uh, the four pound pho challenges oh, or like the, wow. the two gallon ice cream challenges. Heck yeah. Um, Tom also used to be on YouTube and did the gauntlet where he had to chug a gallon of milk, yeah. eat a ghost pepper, and then the cinnamon challenge. We don't, we don't talk about those days anymore. <laughs> Something like this that. Back in 30 day. seconds for a gallon of milk? That can't be. No, I, no, no. I just drink a gallon of milk. I ate a ghost chili pepper. I did a cinnamon challenge and then I ate, died. Like, is this I feel YouTube? like there's an order you YouTube. should be oh, doing that in. It's up there. Yeah. We I should drink like a uh, two liter soda and like Mentos thing. I don't, uh, yeah, that, that's guys, a lot of pain. Do you remember those uh, reaction videos to that one video, two girls, one cup? Did you ever yeah. see that? Do we have yeah. to bring that up on I'm this sorry. one? This is a <laughs> family <laughs> friendly show. Up, man. <laughs> You're sorry. dating yourself too. <laughs> <laughs> that's true. That was like 2003, 2004. Yeah. yeah. Anyway, but yeah, um, is there any other challenges that you'd want to do specifically? Well, I mean, I feel like most days are a challenge that I just don't publicize. <laughs> That's just how I eat. Okay. I like that. <laughs> but um, I, w- I want to do lobster. See, that's more seafood. Ah, that's fine. That's uh, totally that's fine. Good. You're accepted here. You've found your niche. That's good. <laughs> yeah. Wait, wait, wait. But I don't know what is this lobster thing. Is it like multiple lobsters or? Well, if, so I would want to go to a buffet where they had lobster because... Obviously, I'm not spending money like that crazy on right. this. Mm. So it like it just seems like challenge. When, <laughs> right when I see like oh, you can eat seafood buffet, I'm just like I should eat all I can because it says so. Yeah, <laughs> and why not go for challenge lobster? accepted? Yeah, you, you, right. you need to definitely uh, hit us up if you find a lob a buffet, buffet with, with that has lobster. <laughs> all you can eat lobster. That sounds incredible. Well, I mean, I know this won't be the episode. We have a, a topic in mind, but. Uh, recently on Netflix, I'm dating the episode, uh, Ugly Delicious as a new show mm-hmm. by David Chang. And he goes to a place uh, in San Francisco where they have a 30-pound lobster. 
Oh, Jesus. And Jesus. they make what? a lobster mountain. And uh, oh yeah, yeah. I, I would. I, the moment I you said lobster, I was like, wait, where where is this at? Where's this challenge at? Oh, because it's like <laughs> it feeds like a whole fam- like a whole party of eight. So yeah. What? Oh my god. Um, but you, so he's focusing on like your kind of like food stuff, but you also make music videos. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, that's the stuff I like. And when, so I met you via a Patreon event and you, when we started talking about having you on the show, you had mentioned that you went to school for music. Um, yeah, I have a minor in music theory and I studied oh. some, um, broad, well, music, um, Musicals, like basically, yeah. So I was a dancer, singer, actor kind of thing. You're Not anymore. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, you'll probably go a little bit more into it, but I definitely want to hear more about music theory because yeah. I went to school for film theory, and I feel like there's a, at least to me, like a more mainstream like understanding of film theory because I'm complete. I'll say it right now. I'm really ignorant to music theory, like what that means. So I want to definitely hear more. Yeah, I I definitely (laughs) want to hear more about it, like in our topic. I play music and I'm ignorant to music theory. Yeah, (laughs) Yeah. that's just what it is. Um, One thing I really liked about um, a lot of your music was like, I'm I'm a huge fan of the sort of like one man band, like doing loops, things like that. One gal band. Uh, It it really reminded me um, if anyone, anyone in the audience knows uh, KT Tunstall. I don't know. Are you familiar with her? Yeah. 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 It just reminded me of that kind of like doing the whole, doing the whole show yourself. And that's really cool. So. Yeah. But yeah, yeah. She does like looping pedal stuff. It's cool. Yeah. yeah. Luckily, yeah. technology has allowed us more people access to that kind of stuff. Yeah. Nowadays, I mean, it's like we have a here at the studio. We have pretty much a professional grade studio here, but you wouldn't be able to have that ten years ago. Right. Mm-hmm. Right. Where somebody doesn't have to rent out a studio to do any sort of recording. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Um. But today we're talking about something that's really near and dear to my heart because. I actually went to college for musical theory. Mm. Um, I mean, not, I mean, musical theater. 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 Um, And so I've grown up on musicals Mm -hmm. um, since I was little. Same. Like uh, Mm -hmm. musical movies, we're going to be specific because the musical theater world, if we're going to talk about plays, that would be another topic for me. But when it comes to movies, I am so down because this is what I grew up on, really, honestly. I think a lot of us kind of inadvertently grew up on musicals just from oh, yeah. Yeah. like Disney Thank movies. Thank you, Disney. Even with Disney, yeah. I was going to say we'll because of Disney touch specifically. On. Yeah. So, I mean, should we try to start with like the first one that we remember that we were introduced to? Yeah, I could do yeah. that. Gosh. Yeah. 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 Memory lane. Yeah, memory lane. Um, I think I know mine. When I would go to my grandma's, she would put on, I don't know if anyone's seen this, Pete's Dragon, like the original. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. OG Pete's Absolutely. Dragon. I used to watch that every time I went to her house on repeat. Like over and over and over again. That was like going to grandma's. Great, we're gonna watch Pete's Dragon <laughs> yeah. for like five years in a row. Uh, so that was my first like step into movie musicals for okay. sure. And I just I didn't see the remake um, because I love the original so much. Uh, so I'm afraid that it'll. Ruin oh, it so you <laughs> you're not open minded. Got it. Got um, it. <laughs> Thank you, Josh. <laughs> It's just a run of Peace Dragon. Okay? <laughs> Someone else's interpretation. <laughs> um, how about you, Allie? Uh, I'm thinking back to the the big plastic VHS cover yeah. of yep. uh, Little Mermaid. When I oh, was yeah. Yes. Yes. oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. The one. But it's funny because my niece now is like obsessed with Little Mermaid and will sing those songs. And I'm like, how is this so timeless? How, and how is that okay? How are they making money on something so old? Isn't there a way to like update this and... And monetize this kid that loves this this thing that I did at the same age. Yeah. Oh, oh, Disney's working on it. Oh, they're definitely yeah. working on it. Yeah, they're on it. Uh, favorite song? Um, from that one. Yeah, Under the Sea. Okay, Under the for Sea. Sure. You gotta. Okay. <laughs> for sure. Yeah. For sure. Josh, you Josh. Um, I love the music, man. That was like my very. I mean, if I had to really pinpoint, it's hard, but. I grew up on a lot of musicals, like I was saying. So, but the Music Man was always my favorite. When I was growing up, I always used to tell people that I didn't trust somebody who hadn't seen it or liked it. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, that moment. What do you think of the the math the update the Matthew Broderick version? It's okay. I watched it. It's okay. I mean, I I like Matthew Broderick, but I'm always gonna be uh, uh, the original. Yeah, zero one still. Yeah, I'm I'm always gonna be that original person. What That's actually the, the scene I did with a buddy of mine to uh, get my, like, we, I went to a performing arts high school, and we had to do, like, a scene Must be nice. to graduate from it and, like, get our certificate. <laughs> and there was the scene 
where he's freaking out on the couch and can't do it. And my buddy played Zero and had like talked me down. It's what, just, what movie are you talking about? Producers? I was talking about the music. Uh, oh, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> I, don't get so, I don't get so lost. Well, because she was Matthew Broderick. Broderick. Matthew Broderick. That's what it was. Uh, yeah. That's okay. It's this weird, like, musical world. And it's yeah, totally it cool. Still anyway, works. producers is great. <laughs> <laughs> producers is great. <laughs> <laughs> it's a great music. That's totally cool, man. Cool. What about Thanks. you, Tom? That moment when you realize you might have lost all of Josh's trust because you've no. never watched yeah. that. <laughs> um, but, um, you know what? I'm looking at the poster. I think that was it. I think Nightmare Before Christmas. Oh, yeah? I really? think I think that was it. Because I, I remember watching that and liking it. And then I remember like in that time frame in my life when I was a wee young little boy. Yeah. Uh, I think watching Mary Poppins. Okay. And I didn't like mm-hmm. it as much because I didn't mm. like humans. I don't know. I'd rather, <laughs> I'd, rather, I'd rather see like cartoony stuff. Cause, yeah. You, know. you want to see cartoons singing, not real people. Yeah, because of my illness. Yeah, terminally Asian. That's yeah. Right. Oh, I like, yeah. I yeah. See yeah. I keep forgetting stuff. that. So mm-hmm. keep bringing it up. Um, I was gonna say Mary Poppins, but uh, <laughs> oh, I don't sorry. know anymore. No, I think it was either Mary Poppins. Um, it may have been Snow White, mm. but I don't know. It also could have been Grease. Mm. Now I know those are <laughs> those very, are very wow. vastly different. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Uh, my only reasoning for for thinking that it might have been Grease is because my my mom is a huge fan of Grease. Oh, and I feel like I would have probably like been there when she was just like watching it one time. That's yeah. fair. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Do you know like, about the, the dark me. theory about that? No. <laughs> the like what? fan theory that the whole movie is essentially a like dream state for Sandy because oh, she actually yeah. drowns because the car flies away at the end. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So everyone's like, oh, she's, <laughs> she's drowning and that's her dying. And I was like, that's oh. the dumbest thing. <laughs> it's a musical. They're all like. <laughs> Chill a little bit. Chill. Yeah, just, just chill freeze. out. Chill out. So I mean, you guys like pretty much all pretty much mention like Disney. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's hard not That's to. Fair. I but I know. I, I think it's yeah. kind of interesting because if you go way back, I mean Disney, yes, there were, there were already musicals. Yeah, there were or all musicals. There were already some um, what am I trying to say? Use your big words, Josh. I mean, there was like um, Singing in the Rain, mm-hmm. The Music Man. Classics. Um, there were classics. Yeah. But Disney, I think, kind of opened the world up a little bit more to musicals. Yeah, that's fair. I would say. I mean, say. Pete's Dragon's about the same time as Music Man. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, you've got those classics. I mean, you had mentioned, uh, Tom, you mentioned uh, Mary Poppins. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah. Well, the first, their first feature was a musical. Yeah. That's uh, fair. Snow well, White. the weird, I think, uh, in, a, in I don't know if I'm going into it or not, but like, I think the thing with Disney was that like, there was things that you couldn't do in live action, right? Mm-hmm. Obviously, because mm-hmm. it's, yeah. it's the medium. But then with other musicals, a lot of it was, musicals were based off performances too. Yeah. There was like dance numbers and stuff like that. And for me as a kid who had like a, boundless imagination that just needed to be fed with like I want a talking crab you know like I want (laughs) a guy with a pumpkin head you know like I you can get that with dance performances but now as an older man boy um I I could (laughs) see the uh the craft and the just the mastery of like having to perform as well as sing and dance and all that Mm -hmm. stuff so yeah like there's a little bit it's a more refined taste I feel yeah absolutely versus like more digestible things for like kids with Disney yeah. Yeah. Do you think I'm opening this up? Do you think people really only associate musicals to Disney? It seems like they've taken over the market in terms of movie musicals. I, I think not pop- recently. It's the- taken off now. I mean, there are so many, like since Boz Lerman did. Um, Mulan. Yeah. But I feel like it, it's just been growing from there. Oh, yeah. With like just, across like, the universe and stuff like that. Yeah. Like, yeah. 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 And more like not non uh, movie Broadway has also become like mainstream. They're they're called like jukebox musicals when it started that ABBA had a musical and actually that's a, there's a movie version of that. Yeah. Yep. And then like the and Elvis a musical and, coming out. And like, Disney kind of stopped right for a while. Yeah. Um, like Emperor's New Groove, right? Atlantis. I don't think any, either of those were Emperor's New Groove. That wasn't a musical. Yeah, just the opening song. Yeah, those were so those were musicals. So they were kind of like, and then we had the whole Pixar era, which didn't have musicals really. That's yeah. true. And Pixar, yeah, it kind of died out. It kind of died out. And then I think just recently they've been. Oh, was like Frozen kind of. was their big Frozen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, they did with Princess and the Frog. They had it for a minute there. Yeah, um, hand drawn animation. But Zootopia, Inside Out, all that stuff. They're not. They're yeah, not musicals. that's a good point. Yeah, yeah, I mean, I feel like yeah, I think it's a weird way because I feel like what Disney was trying to do was trying to make. Uh, 
musicals like for children and obviously like get them more into it because I think it was you know when D- Disney started making them it was like musicals were at the height of their popularity um but to Ali's point like now recently uh, since Boz Lerman there's like kind of like a renaissance of it yeah but the cool thing I think is that most musical now like they're all seen as pretty critically acclaimed yeah because like the, it's yeah I think when you think about making a musical it has to be like top notch yeah yeah you can't the just like half really good. it <laughs> Yeah, I mean, you've had the insurgence of what like I would La La call. Land and stuff. Yeah, I, I would call them the pop musical. So it's like in the 90s, in the late like 90s, they started creating these. I would call them kind of pop rock musicals where it was like Rent and oh, yeah. other. Almost like rock operas. Like they have the Green Day one now, which would yeah. be considered both like a rock opera and a jukebox musical. Yeah, and it's so all the it, songs from their album. And I was so terrible. at Like when I was going to musical theater in college, like I... I was always classic. I always, uh, my audition songs were always from classic musicals and it was hard to do like pop rock ones. Yeah. But now it's like, that's, that's what's coming up where they're making them like, what was it? What were we watching? Right. Or we were talking about the greatest showman. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's kind of a pop sort of musical. Yeah, I agree. I feel like it was a musical for the voice audience. Yeah. Yeah. (laughs) Yeah. You got like pitch perfect. Pitch perfect is like a, it's kind of a pop musical. It's still a musical. Mm. Still falls into the category. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's true. There's um, a, there's one that sticks out to me, but it's not technically a musical. It's an opera. Okay. And that's uh, Repo, the genetic opera. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I haven't seen that. Uh, it, I think that's like the most conflicted I've ever been for a movie because it's like, I, it's like made by the director of Saw One, I think. <laughs> oh, um, wow. What the yeah. <laughs> yeah. But like, but it's, I mean, it's like gory and stuff like that. But it's, is it a true opera or do they speak? It in is. It? it is a true opera. There's so they're seeing me singing. entire time. Wow. Mm-hmm. Uh, cool. I got to see that. So I'm very fascinated by that. The visual style is so incredible. But to your point, Josh, the music, like the lyrics, aren't always the best. Yeah. Like it, it kind of falls short on a lot of of the numbers. Yeah. But I still hi- hold it in high regard. Yeah. Um, as like a cool like movie because like, whatever, but like. Because yeah. you mentioned Rent a second ago, and the stage version of that is an opera. Like nothing, barely anything is spoken. Yeah. Whereas the movie changed all of that. Yeah. And was still a smash success. Like I don't know if you remember how many people were talking about Rent when that movie came back out. Yeah. And like, because I was, that was when I was in my musical theater program. And so suddenly the next week when we had to do our songs for the week. Yeah. Like, everyone did Rent when that movie came out. <laughs> yeah. Uh, mm-hmm. And I actually didn't know until, because I hadn't seen any rent. I hadn't seen Rent before that because I was yeah. in high school and I don't know if my parents would have taken me to go see yeah. Rent any younger than that. Uh, and so when I saw it on stage, I had already seen the movie and that's what I had based it off of. Oh, and then I saw yeah. the opera and I was like, holy sh! this is amazing. Why didn't they just do this? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> It's just like there is there is a part still of Hollywood that doesn't 100% trust doesn't that c- people can digest that. Exactly. Uh, and I, I wish we got past that a little bit yeah um because they're like no they need dialogue you're like we we don't really no not if it's done well if the music is good if the lyrics are good like what i always learned or what i have always felt is a music if you're a a song if you're doing it right it's basically a monologue just with some music Mm. and so a good musical the songs are telling a story like you don't have a duet just so you can have two voices together, there is a dramatic reason to have those two or people. Or a comedic reason. Or a comedic, exactly. Right. So, I mean, there is a reason for every, for a good one. For a good musical, the, everything has a purpose. It's not right. just like, ooh, shiny. Um, well, that's what they say. The music comes in when you can't express it with speech any longer. Yeah. Yes. That's a good way to put it. <laughs> oh. Yes. Um. <laughs> That's how I feel every day. Just want to burst out of song. <laughs> <laughs> Words can't describe this anymore. I'm going to sing now. I hope you're okay with it. <laughs> now, Ali, you have some uh, history doing stage as well? Yes. And actually, it's funny because that he said that in everyday life. It just made me think that I, um, I have a series on my channel called Life the Musical, and I write songs about things that happen in everyday life. So when they do, we'll all know the words and we can like sing together. <laughs> That's and awesome. Life will be a I musical. Encourage, I encourage everyone to go check that out, by the way. Yes. Uh, great. So examples are like, 
my phone's battery is single digits. And then like when that happens to you, everybody breaks out into song. Or, <laughs> so, waiting for the Uber song. And my most recent one is, um, why did I come into this room? Mm. Oh my God. <laughs> That's my entire life. Yeah. <laughs> and now you can sing your entire I'm life. Go- I'm going to, because I get so mad usually and I feel like that'll help. <laughs> my wife makes fun of me because she'll just hear me in the room and go, damn it. <laughs> was like, well, I was like, I don't know why I came here. <laughs> it's it's a very upbeat song. It should help. <laughs> good, 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 good. Um, I wanted to go. You don't have any theater, Tom. Thanks. History. I'm Thanks. sorry. Thanks. But uh, I was Allie the second guard in Twelfth Night. Were you, sir? Were you? I, all I do is hold a sword and say like two lines. Well, there I you was a uh, prop master once at college. In college, there you nice. go. Mm-hmm. But I was going to ask musically. What is everyone's first experience in in music and theater? Real quick, if I can just go off topic, real quick. like what was your first? You, you role? may not. So Tom, yours was guard number two. Guard number two in Twelfth Night. <laughs> I remember it. I was so angry. Uh, Ali, what was your first role? I was the question mark in first grade, and I would ask questions about the season, what was happening in the scene, and I had a giant question mark on my my shirt. That's yes. phenomenal. <laughs> That's awesome. I remember forgetting a line. It's so vivid to me because it was such like a traumatizing moment when I was like, wait, <laughs> what do I say? And our teacher was in the back of the room, like mouthing all of the lines to us because everybody was forgetting. So that made me feel a little better. <laughs> <laughs> what about you? Uh, Tommy Gillis, music man. Nice. I got to throw firecrackers on stage. It was very exciting. Nice. Um, I accidentally, shout out to my friend Courtney. Uh, we were doing the Shapoopy. Shout out to Courtney. Yes. And mm-hmm. we do the little, you know, back and forth little like kickball change thing. Yeah. And I stepped on her ankle and she jumped and dislocated her ankle. Oh, jeez. Oh, so she was out for the first oh, run. That was during rehearsal too. That, that was sounds... my first experience with stage. Corey, the and human And I dislocated weapon. someone's oh, man. ankle. Oh my God. I felt... Awful. But anyway, <laughs> that was my first role. That's awesome. I was, uh, I think I was, I have early experience, like uh, second grade. I think I was like Charlie the Angry Clam or something <laughs> like that. Nice. Yeah, I was this angry clam. Um, <laughs> yeah. No, uh, like getting like when the theater bug happened to me was in high school. Like, I think I've mentioned on this show, I was a very, very shy kid. And so the reason mm-hmm. theater means so much to me is that it, it brought me out of my shell. Mm-hmm. And so I out started. Out of your clamshell? Out of my. <laughs> 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 yes, it, it brought oh, me out man. of my clamshell. And um, so getting into, like I've mentioned, Nightmare Before Christmas was my first, like, uh, to explain, Allie, um, when I was in high school, my the drama director would take movies and make plays out of them. And so he created Nightmare Before Christmas. He turned it into like a, like a high school play. And um, that was like my first like back back at it. But I remember just being, I was shaking. I was so you nervous. You pulling Eddie Murphy? Yeah. <laughs> Throw up before every show? Yeah. Just bleh. Um, But yeah. Mom's spaghetti? That Mine. was my getting into it. What about Mine you? Mine was, um, was in college. Okay. That was the first time I ever did like any kind of theater or anything. Um, and it was because I'm a, for those who don't know or don't care or whatever, but I, I have don't, a, I don't, I don't care at all. <laughs> I'm a fine arts major. Know. So I had to do like any, like art any thing. and every art, like, art like ceramics, sculpture or whatever. Yeah. And also theater. We get and it. You're sweet. cultured. I'm cultured. Okay. So just like. <laughs> I'm also a fine arts major. <laughs> uh, like that's awesome. There you go. Right yeah. Uh, but yeah, what a, was a semester for the entire semester? Cause I don't know, I guess it's a, it was an official school production. Um, I was prop master for. Um, much Ado About Nothing. Yeah. So it's not like a musical, but it's like Shakespeare. So it's like yeah. close. But <laughs> it was an interesting you interpretation. Just said theater. Yeah. Uh, Shakespeare. I, I went to um, I went to University of Nebraska in Omaha, nice middle, middle of the country. And uh, in the '60s, or not the '60s necessarily, but like in the early 1900s, they had a high uh, population of like Italian immigrants settle there. Wow. And so the the adaptation of the play took place in 1960s Omaha in an Italian like That's restaurant. Cool. So it was, the like God, it was the Godfather. It was the Godfather. Yeah. yeah, it was yeah. Godfather. <laughs> okay. And so that was really fun to like make all the props for and stuff. Oh, that's fun. That's really cool. cool. Uh, yeah. Should we move on to? Uh, we have a note here about 80s and 90s musicals, movie musicals. Yeah. Should we, we can, move into that? Yeah, we can talk a little bit about that. I, I um. I'd like to. Yeah. I uh, 80s and 90s were kind of an interesting time because you've got, you've got. I mean, Greece is on the cusp. Yeah. Greece was 78. And I have to say something. I'm I'm really sorry if this offends people at home. Go on. 
I hate Greece. Whoa. Whoa. Wow. Shade. Grumpy Josh. Shade. Shade. I, I'm, Good to see you again. <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs> I'm not a grump about many things. Josh's tagline is I watch things and I enjoy them. Like that's his, <laughs> yeah. if he had a trademark line, Josh, I watch things and I enjoy them. So to yeah. hear him not like something is huge. Yeah, I, huge. I just, I hated Greece. And what was sad is that in high school, there was our senior musical. And... Row, row. Right. <laughs> and, uh, you know, it's like I was one of the theater kids. I was one of the couple theater kids. So it's like I had to be in the show. Mm. And, but it, I just, I can't stand Greece. What about it can't you stand? <sighs> Maybe it's kind of like some songs that are popular that it's just overdone. I liked Grease 2 more than I liked Grease 1. Wow. Because nobody knows the songs. <laughs> yeah, maybe. Maybe. And you had Michelle Pfeiffer. But Grease Lightning. No. <laughs> <laughs> wow, I didn't realize we we're going to have Kwame qualms in this episode. No, yeah. I'm sorry. I just, because uh, we we're mentioning the 80s and 90s. Summer yeah. Lovin'? No. Huh? This is Summer, 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 summer. Lovin'. <laughs> um, but no, I mean, you had like Little Shop of Horrors. I want to get Ali's input on this. How do you feel about Grease? <laughs> what? Well, I mean, now I'm giving it a second thought because, yeah, it is like if someone's like, I like Greece, I'm like, well, you don't know theater. So. Oh. <laughs> the snobs have just woke up today. Uh -huh. mm. Have you seen anything else? Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, it's, it's not one I watched a whole lot growing up. Yeah. Uh, it is. I was in a theater company when I was a kid through uh, like middle school through all of high school called Broadway Beyond Kids. And they would rotate like five shows and we did Greece three times. So I'm a little... Tainted by doing it three yeah. times. Uh, my wife loves it, however. Okay. But I, I just have flashbacks. I'm sorry, Dana. The first time was Dana. fun. The second time was like, oh, remember the, the time we all did remember, this? Remember, remember And then the third time you're like, I can't believe we're singing these fucking songs again. He's <laughs> lying. Anyway, yeah. but like, you know, it's, it's. It's a classic. Actually, no. I'm back on board. You sang those three notes and I'm like, yeah, you know what? I like Grease. <laughs> That's the song. Grease Lightning yeah. is the song to this day that doesn't That's bug all me. it takes. It's that song. Yeah. Yeah. Um, the rest so of them I can funny. I'll have a confession too because yeah. I need to be a champion for those that uh, may not be of the initiated and <laughs> into theater. Um, mm. When I watched Grease, I was like, okay, maybe I'm into musicals. So that was like <laughs> that's what every gateway says. Drive. This was it's yeah, and that like, was and I, I'm one of those people. It's a gateway like, musical. Like I, mean, I don't like, again. Maybe I'm showing my age, but like I or like just my lack of culture, and I'm the uncultured swan. No, you just episode. like music. You like catchy music. Well, yeah, and then and I never film. I never got <laughs> super exposed to like w watching like the classics that we have on this list here. Like was pretty much. Like something I had to do in college for class mm -hmm. was yeah. just like watch this movie and go home. Watch it was like I had to take a film history class and I was like watch this movie, watch this movie. And then like Seeing in the Rain was the number one thing because it was about the film industry. And I was like, okay, cool, I get it. I want to also say Beauty School Dropout's a phenomenal song. <laughs> so. I'm, I'm, I'm just not gonna speak. <laughs> we'll move on. We'll move on <laughs> to the next <laughs> movie. Yeah. This is the Grease episode. Uh, we also have Hairspray written here. Yeah. Hairspray. Uh, Little Shop of Horrors was my jam. Oh my god, yes. Are we talking about Hairspray, the first version or the remake? Oh, uh, the first, first version. version. First version. The one that okay. However, my wife loves the remake. Like, to death. Everybody does. I've seen it more times than I'd like. <laughs> <laughs> but less times than she'd like me to. Yeah. <laughs> Shut up to the guys. Okay. Makes sense. Um, yeah. She's obsessed with... I have to admit, though, uh, uh, James Marsden as, as Corky's pretty... Fucking phenomenal. Yeah, no, I mean, I'm all I, the remake is still good, it's just, it, but it's one of those douchey things. But to say not like, John Travolta. Whoa. Yeah, no, that's, not. Yeah, we need it. We needed Harvey Weinstein. Or Harvey Weinstein. Whoa, <laughs> whoa, <laughs> and I'll see myself out. Uh, Harvey Firestein. <laughs> yes, as 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 that character. Because I need some John Travolta. In my life. I don't think John Travolta got the tongue in cheek of it. No, at all. Christopher yeah. Walken, I love, yeah. but I don't think John Travolta got the role. Conceptually, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, never saw him. Um, Little Shop of Horrors. That's the Rick Moran. Yeah. Okay. Oh yeah. Mm. Okay. That's I, so good. And so again, that was so my me, first kiss. <laughs> oh yeah. I was. Oh. I was. Uh, you kissed uh, a plant. Yep, I okay. kissed a plant. Okay. I was in Little Shop uh, <laughs> as uh, uh, Rick Moranis's character. Yeah. And uh, the girl who played what's what's her name? Why are we forgetting all these things? I'm just blanking on. I know this. the no, name I know. of the plant is number whatever her name is too. Somewhere that's green. <laughs> Seymour. Uh, I was Seymour. Anyway, the girl who Audrey? played... Audrey? Audrey, thank you. Audrey I was too. thinking... They're two like Audreys, so though. <laughs> exactly. That makes sense. That makes yeah. sense. Uh, I was opposite her, and she was older than me, and it was like a... The best thing I ever. had a crush on her kind of thing, and so I was really nervous, and I wouldn't do it in rehearsals, because I was like, we'll do it. We'll just do it later. It's fine. 
<laughs> but that was my first kiss. Ever. Lips turn into noodles. It was on stage in front of my parents. So Your anyway, first kiss, nice. Well, you also oh. had um, you also had uh stuff like we had the the dentist too, which yeah. Steve Martin Steve is Martin. dentist. Yeah. I've always wanted to play that role. Now that I'm older, Me the too. dentist is a dream role of mine. I mean, just to be a kooky dentist that gets high on um on gas, yeah. yeah. And also, can we and just give a people. shout out to Bill people. Murray as a small part in that movie as the guy who loves pain? Yeah. Kills him. <laughs> steals, probably almost steals the whole movie. Um, I mean, you also had kind of what I kind of want to bring up because there's a movie that came out in the 80s and 90s that was a musical, but it's kind of, um, it was ahead of its time, so to speak. Um, you guys familiar with like John Carney? So like you have Once, um, um, God, he has other ones. And he, Sing Street is a, his newest mm-hmm. one. But you have this kind of... There was one in the 80s and 90s called The Commitments. It was came out of Ireland. It's fucking amazing. But it's basically... it. I kind of relate it to Blues Brothers, where it's, <laughs> it's kind of like a blues jazz kind of... Where they're using, like, um, rock songs and, and whatnot. But it that's that's one that came out in the 80s and 90s. Like but that. it's a different kind, kind of like the John Carney stuff that's come out in the past like 15 years. I'm going to look into that. What's it called again? Uh, the Commitments. Okay. A lot of fun. We also have the producers here. Did you know in order to graduate my high school, oh my God. I had to do a scene from the producers. <laughs> now it comes back. Uh, Finally. Okay, it. cool. Uh, Ali, do you have one? The, in the 80s and 90s era? I, well, yes, yeah, sir. it's, I mean, I guess I would want, <laughs> I oh. want to say Ninja Turtles 2, Secret of the Ooze because there's that one. <laughs> Yes, ninja in there, and that counts. <laughs> go ninja, that go ninja, 100% go. Counts. <laughs> That's amazing. That, I give it to you. Ninja Turtles is a Corey's Thank like it's favorite. my it's my favorite thing in the whole wide I world. I used to ninja know Turtles. the words. Who's your favorite turtle? Uh, this no, right Leonardo, no question. All right, cool. Okay, I, uh, okay. I, I get Donatello. That's my guy. Mine's Raph. Raph. Yeah. This is a Ninja, ninja Turtles episode. Episode. It turns yeah, it into a, turn it into uh, Ninja Turtles. <laughs> yeah, random. <laughs> um, 80s and 90s. Uh, what about you, Ollie? Gosh, 80s and 90s. I mean, I have to revert to Disney, I think, of that era. Yeah. Mm. Um, they had some good ones in the 80s and 90s. Like, yeah. There, there was a lot of... I think we have a... Do we have a whole section on Disney coming up? No. Yes? No. No. We've kind of... So well, you could so sprinkle it in Disney. there. All right. <laughs> uh, Just inject it. Yeah. I'm going to say... I'm going to say Aladdin. Okay. From that. And oh, uh, childhood favorite... Prince Ali. Yeah. Uh, I can't remember I just what saw I, that one in theater. It's at, like... Live now. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, you yeah. can yeah. see that. But, like, as far as, like, the the pieces of music go, I would say Aladdin has my favorite, like, songs in it. What's your favorite song? I mean, better be a whole new world. It's got to be Prince Ali. <laughs> uh, yeah, it is. Because it's your name? It's got to be. Uh, <laughs> come on. I just got it. Everybody I sings that, that to me my entire life. And it's like, yeah, keep singing yeah. it. You're just complimenting me, like, all kinds. <laughs> yeah. <it's great. laughs> Newsies was another one I just thought of. That oh, was, with that Christian was dis- Bale? Yeah. <laughs> I was going to say Baby Bale. <laughs> Baby yeah. Bale. Baby Bale. Baby Bale. What if the Delanceys come out swinging? Will yeah. we hear them? No! Yeah. I love that. That's so the- many pelvic <laughs> thrusts. That's the movie that kind of taught me my um, <laughs> my uh, New York accent. So many 12-year-old boys and so Ooh. many pelvic thrusts. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. Uh, the whole movie. Yeah. How was, Chris- was Christian Bale, like, fun to watch in that? He's such a... Okay, singer. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> he'd admit it. I guarantee wow. you he'd admit that. But I mean, it's it's a... His voice was changing at the time. He's not a yeah. singer, but he performs well. His voice was changing? Like how? You know, puberty? <laughs> 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 he was changing into Batman. No. I'm not wearing oh, Ollie Bates. No, Ollie, what? <laughs> it somehow works this time. No. What if the Delanceys come out soon? <laughs> 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 anyway, can we move to the 2000s, please? <laughs> yeah. My was... work here is complete. <laughs> <laughs> we don't want to talk about Bette Midler and Gypsy? We can talk about Bette Midler. That's all I wanted to say. She no. slayed it. I loved that movie growing up. <laughs> well, I mean, it's Bette Midler. It's, Bette I mean, Midler it's... has a place in my heart forever for that, Gypsy, and Hocus Pocus. Before we move on to kind of modern, I do have to mention one classic because she is Bay for days. Uh, my Fair Lady, Audrey Hepburn. Mm. Audrey Hepburn will forever Bay for days. be my... Hollywood crush. Yeah. Like yeah. I mentioned, like um, we've mentioned um, like Kristen Bell and all these other people. That I have are volumes. So- yeah, <laughs> you volumes. have volumes of bass. You know, you know, Beauty and the Beast, you know, he has that library. Mm-hmm. That's mine. <laughs> That's your bass. <laughs> bass for days. <laughs> That's you all, just have all the women that I love in yeah. my life. <laughs> okay. I do also want to give some, some, a couple of shout outs do to, um, to some classics. Yeah. Uh, Wizard of Oz. Oh. oh. How, how do we feel about one. that? I could, I could watch that anytime. 
Which like one? If it's on, I'm watching it. Wizard of Oz. Wizard I didn't watch Oz, Wizard yeah. of Oz until I was 20. I don't Scarecrow, think I did either. Yeah. I look like it. So it, I really say <laughs> yeah, I was the cowardly lion in, um, a, in it. I've been described as a stick that you feel bad for. So <laughs> uh, the Scarecrow. My mom was telling me. Oh, go ahead. No, no go for it. No, my mom was telling me she was she would watch that, but only had a black and white TV. So when it switched to color, nothing happened. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, no. I oh, love that man. so much. <laughs> Look how beautiful it is. All right. Yeah, sure. Uh, we, sh- we said Singing in the Rain earlier, but I do want to give yeah. a shout out to Singing in the Rain. And I was younger. I was a huge fan of not Gene Kelly, but Donald O'Connor in that. He is amazing. Uh, make him laugh. Yeah. I tried to recreate that in my living room. Like probably Locking every up the wall weekend. And Everything. Yeah. I got in a lot of trouble. Well, even nowadays no. when I say good morning, I still think good, good morning. morning. In my head, I just I nothing could be granted than to be in the scene. Yeah. So uh, uh, and then also, I wanted to shout out Santa Music. Oh, uh, yeah. I, that might have been one of the first. That might have been right there alongside Greece. Yeah. Uh, as like maybe the one that my mom put on for me. <gasps> <laughs> Sorry, you're having she, a real bang bang. Chitty Chitty Bang Bang. Was I didn't that watch a musical? That as much. Oh was yeah, it, I guess it was, it was a musical. musical. There yeah. was not that many performances, but Chitty Chitty. Oh my god. How? Okay, we talk that about. That's my favorite classic one. Yeah, if we talk about a movie, we watch like over and over again. Was that? I have no idea. I just know it's not a modern one. No. <laughs> well, I mean, if we're talking about, I mean, if we're still doing some shout outs for classics, I mean, you have Rodgers and Hammerstein, which is Sound of Music, mm-hmm. Oklahoma, The King mm-hmm. and I, South Pacific. There are a ton yeah. of classics that we could we be here keep, all day. We could be here all day. This is the four hour long episode. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's right. So I have some time. So, <laughs> no, no. <laughs> those uh, honestly, Rodgers and Hammerstein ones don't, don't move me. Oh, really? Uh, yeah. Mm. I like it. Want the trashy, catchy pop stuff from like Rent <laughs> and something about like just like how they glide along and are just lilty and lovely. Yeah, it, I'm, I'm not into it. But I, I get that. I mean, there are people that's the the musical world splits in two in a way mm. because you have those people that like the classics. Like I, mm-hmm. I was a classics. I liked the classics, but there are people that are like, no, I want the. The newer ones that like Rent, um, Wicked, even Wicked goes into that realm where it's oh. kind of a poppy. Yeah, for sure. There's well, I would a- call a third split where people that like Sondheim, which is only people like like you who majored in musical theater, that yeah, even know Sondheim. about yeah. that kind of stuff. Yeah. Sondheim is he's another one that I'm okay with. I I, I can appreciate because he if you want somebody with lyrics, Sondheim has some amazing lyrics. Another classic that I just I'm again. I'm gonna break the. I'm, people are gonna be sad. I oh. don't like Andrew Lloyd Webber. Good. I think that's widely accepted. <laughs> that's that's okay. widely accepted. Uh, yeah. Okay. The only yeah. time yeah. I used, to, I have a small attachment to when I was young at my other grandma's house. Mm-hmm. The movie we would always watch is she had a VHS clamshell yeah. of uh, uh, the original Broadway Cats. Uh, yeah, England version of Cats, and I it was I like loved four hours that. long. I wanted to be <laughs> Mr. Mistopheles, and the older I got, the more I didn't like the music from it. Um, my parents love Fan of the Opera, but I just I couldn't. I did. I mean, oh, I, I, gonna... I again, Andrew Lloyd Webber. When you're nine years old, is the shit. Like, yeah. sure. I went and saw Phantom with my family, and I had the mask. And I wore it through three hours of the show, and my mom laughed oh, yeah. at me because I wore it in the car ride home. And when she took it off so she could like put me to bed, half my face was bright red and sweaty because I wouldn't take it off because I wanted to be. But him then also, so bad. then the the song scare the crap out of you too. Da 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 da. da, da, da. Yeah, I, I my mom used to when I wouldn't go to bed, she would sing that from the other room, and I thought the Phantom was gonna. There's appear, one thing, so Jesus Christ away. Superstar will always I will enjoy. I yeah. like Jesus Christ Superstar, but. It's seasonally. Yeah. Yes. yes. I, I only listen to it around Easter. My mom would play it. Yeah. I yeah, feel yeah. like if, if you watch it any other time, it's inappropriate. It's inappropriate. Um, I, I like family opera because I like Emmy Rosen. You but, can like oh, anything the, yeah, you want. Um, she should have been Belle in the new. <laughs> and then piece, also the for the yes, Roger yes, Hammerstein 100%. haters. Um, the first time I ever heard a Roger the Hammerstein thing was um, the Cinderella Disney movie. Oh, uh, <laughs> yeah. An yeah. Asian prince. I was like, mm, represent, bro. Represent. <laughs> but I was all about it. But then Whitney Houston was the fairy godmother. She killed it. Yeah. I was like, I'm, I'm about it. And I was a young kid who was impressionable and could absorb Impossible. everything. Impossible. Yeah. That's a great song. <laughs> that is an absolutely great song. Apple Music, you need to jump on that shit. Anyways. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, modern. Modern music. One more. Movies. I'm sorry. Because okay. we have Jesus to. Jesus Christ, Rocky. Josh. 
Rocky Horror Picture Show. Okay, oh, that's fair. Yeah, that's yeah, fair. Right. Okay, Sorry. Right. I don't Here's get the it. thing. I haven't, oh, wait. She's, I haven't she's saying seen she doesn't it. get it. I haven't seen it I'm yet. just not cool enough to understand the, the hype, I guess. Wow. Here's you the thing. Seen it yet? I've been told not to watch it unless I go to a live event of it. Oh, yeah. So I'm Same. going to one, but I haven't I, seen I it I yet. also have not seen I it. Just ha- I do have a soft spot for Tim Curry. Uh, okay. I mean, like a very big soft spot. That's why I don't want to wait, because I want to see it for Tim Curry, but I will wait for an event. I was literally given the movie like when I was like in high school and was like, yo, if you're going to like pursue film, you need to watch this as like a classic cult classic. And I watched it. And I think the thing I love about that film, this, you know, other than the music aspect of it, it captured like, again, a cool vibe that like the aesthetic of filmmakers during that time could only capture because of that. Yeah, so, I agree. I just definitely don't think I'll enjoy just... it in bed while eating ramen. Like, no, you I will. Think I, th- I think you will. I think you will because that's how I did it. Okay, well, I'm going to go to a that live was my high school. thing we'll of see. it. It's a totally different experience. Like, the they encourage audience participation, and there's, yeah. like, right. callbacks and stuff yeah. like that. Cosplay, almost. Yeah. <laughs> um, okay, modern, now, modern we now we can I'm move on. I'm going to include this in the modern one because I think it was late 90s. Yeah. Uh, it's another Tim Curry film. It is uh, Muppet Treasure Island. Oh. <laughs> I was like, oh. It is my favorite Muppet movie of all time. Because it's awesome. Uh, and Tim Curry <laughs> yeah. even has a line in there where he goes, uh, he goes, help me out, boys. This is my only number. Yeah. And I was like, of course, make a joke that you only give Tim Curry one number. Yeah. Uh, but I will forever yeah, it was cherish like late that 90s. movie. Uh, yeah, I found it. a VHS copy at a garage sale for a dollar and I bought it. So I have nice. it still. Do you still have a VHS? I'll put no way to look at it. I have no way to watch it. I just look at it. <laughs> it's called Lord of the Sun. It's part of, it's part of history. Is that how yeah. it works? It's pretty, yeah, it's part of history. <laughs> well, I think there was a reinsurgence. Of musicals, resurgence, um, yeah, modern musicals, <laughs> resurgence. Thank you. Resurgence. I, I'm going to use my 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 big my big words. Um, a renaissance, yeah, a renaissance. That's like a, after the 2000s, a lot of musicals started coming out. Like Moulin Rouge was a big one. Yeah, that's uh-huh. phenomenal. That's why. yeah. It's yeah. I'm a I again soft spot. You and McGregor. Yeah, and uh, it is it's just to me in that movie for me Nicole perfect. Kidman. For you, Nicole Kidman. That's fair. That's fair. For uh, me, that fat guy, whoever that was. I also like John Lucas. <laughs> oh John my god! Uh, I used to know his name because he was in Topsy Turvy, which is yeah. about. Uh, um, and he's also in Harry Potter. Two musical geniuses. Huh. Yeah. Um, Moulin Rouge is a film that again I had to study in school. Yeah. And the I mean, I I, didn't, I never watched it, but I remember my sister and my mom. Jim Broadbent. Living. Okay, yeah. Jim Robin. Shout out to him. <laughs> um, but uh, the the class uh, was uh, cinema, cinema and society, and it was pretty much how uh, the world kind of like reacted to Moulin Rouge and how like it was it was breakthrough because it got like Academy noms and like wins and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. Um, original music and specifically, I remember just spe- like anyone who hasn't watched it, go home. Find it on your whatever you need to watch you it on. Find it, yeah, but watch it's, it. it's it's the one that I call it's the movie about emotion and love on the nth degree because everything is just so heightened and dramatic. But like, and it's all like well performed, and you see it in all of the uh, all the songs. So I was like, mm-hmm. when I remember watching it, and my my head was entirely like just like jolted back. I was like, oh god, can I take this? Is like it's, it was intense. There was yeah. a lot at you. It was intense. Who knew you and was such a good singer? Yeah. You did. I did. Uh, Melodyne did. Yeah. <laughs> Melodyne definitely did. Yep. <laughs> um, well, I mean, you had other ones. I mean, now there's kind of like, like we had mentioned Mamma Mia. That's uh, And Mamma Mia 2 coming yeah. out soon. Mamma Mia 2. I mean, you had Which high I'm school actually musical. really excited about because Cher's in it. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> no. I like ABBA. I don't I need didn't an like ABBA the musical. first one, so I don't think I'll like the second <laughs> yeah. anymore. There's one that uh, I want to get your guys' opinion, like feelings about. Yeah. yeah, that's Sweeney Todd. Love Tim it. Burton's. Tim oh, uh, Tim Burton's Sweeney Todd. Yes. No. I've actually seen a stage, a film stage version of it with Angela Lansbury, and it was oh, awesome. Really? Yeah. Angela it's just like a single Lansbury. shot. Of like the, it's way better. Yeah. That's the one that I saw, um, and it's incredible. Have you seen that? I the? still like it. Yeah. I still dig it. The only thing is, I know uh, Sweeney is supposed to be this huge hulking man. Which oh, yeah. is why, yeah, he's a, it's originally written huh. as a large man. It makes sense. Which is why he can overpower people <laughs> yeah. in that chair. Right. Um, but I, th- I, I really like, I think this is one of Tim Burton's better ones in a time where he kind of had hit this, oh, yeah. this rut. Right. So I think it was a moment, a blip on the map where they're like, oh, there, there's Tim Burton. Oh, yeah, yeah. and then he oh, went back he to again. Alice in Wonderland <laughs> too. So uh, I, I love Helena Bottom Carter uh, mm-hmm. a lot. And I watched some behind the scenes stuff where she sings by the sea. Oh. And it's this run on song 
and she was having trouble breathing in it. Like, where do I find my breaths? Because it's just by the seam. It's da 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 da. And she had uh, talked to Angela Lansbury, and she told her this story where she asked uh, uh, Leonard about, like, where do I, I, where I can't find where I breathe in this song. And he went, oh, darling, I didn't write a pa- place for you. <laughs> so she just had to figure it out. And so that's what Helena was like, I'll just figure it out, I guess. Wow. It's because wow. I didn't write one. <laughs> you learn to, when you're doing musical theater, you learn how to breathe. Um, so you can get a lot of air with just like a, like just a really quick, like, Mm-hmm. Like a you mean like a, like a boxer? Yeah. <laughs> yes. So you're Pretty fighting much. your own body. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. The one that um, Ali is talking about, if you get a chance to see it, yeah, it's pretty fucking incredible. Like the there's a there's a I forget what the, version of it. Though? There's a film the, stage the, the, version. There's stage Got version, it. and there's a song in it. I I think the song is called My Friends, where he's talking to his knives. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. This guy, fucking in, incredible. Like uh, it was just insane because it it sort it definitely feels like it's up my alley like that kind of musical and yeah. that, dig it that man. Uh, the dark like humor or whatever and so I, I'm I'm excited at the prospect of a better version of that do yeah. it oh and then what you need to do is you need to watch um the God, what's his name he was in Baywatch uh, David Hasselhoff. Hasselhoff David Hasselhoff has a version of I think it's um, Jekyll and Hyde the musical oh, oh. my god. <laughs> your face exactly explains it. If you get a chance to look up on YouTube, uh, David Hasselhoff, uh, Jekyll and Hyde musical. Because I love that musical. What? Is it going to ruin it for me? No, it's just going to make you laugh. <laughs> <laughs> he has this. Does Hoff? David Hasselhoff ruin he things for this... you? Yes, a lot. Is this going to ruin David Hasselhoff for me? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> exactly. I was like, no. Mm-hmm. David Hasselhoff Not at all. is amazing. <laughs> um, um, I was just going to say about the Sweeney Todd thing. I feel like, again, if you're into a Tim burton movie, then yeah, it's okay. Yeah. Just because if you like that aesthetic. But like, actually it reminded me of like, you know, the turn of the times of Willy Wonka. And I forgot about freaking Willy Wonka the Chocolate Factory, but... Charlie uh, and the Chocolate right. Factory. The the original one was depends on which one you're talking about. Gene Wilder. Was, Gene Wilder. One. That was Willy Wonka. Yeah, yeah. that was. Mm-hmm. That was but a, the OG was, title is Charlie and the Chocolate yeah. Factory, and which yeah. is what? Yeah. Um. Well, I mean, the, also in the 2000s, you had the introduction of High School Musical and like the Pitch Perfect World, where it's yeah. like yeah. you have this. Um, and that's and uh, Glee. I mean, Glee, Glee became huge. a huge thing, and that that opened the world to, um, the acapella yeah. singing, and I think. I think that kind of opened up the world for, and maybe Ali, you have something to say about this, the YouTube world. I think after these kinds of things like uh, Glee or, um, fuck, I'm just forgetting. It opened up, a lot of people started making their own content, mo- their right? own content. Their own versions of it too. Yeah, for YouTube. Mm-hmm. So I think there was a huge insurgence of musical content on YouTube. Well, honestly, during, like during this conversation, I'm realizing we keep saying like, "Oh, well, Disney, but like made an insurgence of musicals," and then like in the 2000s, they started getting bigger again with this, and then and right now, I feel like there's an insurgence. I really think it's just like I've been living my life being like, "Yes, musicals are having their heyday," and it's always been that way. <laughs> <laughs> different platforms, just all the yeah. time. In your world, they are. Right. Um, Looking up a few more here. Yeah, uh, Chicago. We, that yeah, was, was that's say, my go-to. Chicago. Chicago. I saw that. I remember going to see that in theaters and walking so out, good. being like, "I, I want to be." Uh, is it Bobby Flynn? Billy Flynn? Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I wanted to be him more than anything when I walked out of there. Mm-hmm. I think yeah. I tap danced mm-hmm. all the way home. <laughs> nice. <laughs> in, in a mask from. In <laughs> the mask from <laughs> the yes. yes, I was yes, blown absolutely. away by uh, Mr. Cellophane. Yeah, yeah. That I was like, yeah. what? How can you sing like that? Mm, we also had uh, Dream Girls once, which was a oh, great yeah. movie across the universe. I think uh, I heard a. Mm. Is that? Oh no, heard? that was more like a. Mm, uh, like you just yeah, had once. something good to eat. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> since, since we're also kind of in in modern and stuff like that, Ollie and I were talking about it uh, uh, the other day and talking about like web content too. Mm-hmm. Uh, Doctor Horrible. Doctor yeah. Horrible. Oh, yeah. 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 So I think that also definitely like. Gave people ideas like, oh, I can make my own stuff and just make it a just worldwide Whedon. market. Just Whedon. Yeah. yeah. So, uh, MPH. And yeah. also, I mean, on on the Whedon track, uh, like, TV show episodes that are, like, musicals. Mm-hmm. Oh, the yeah. Episode Buffy. Of, like, Buffy. Scrubs. Buffy. Scrubs. Scrubs. Supernatural. Mm-hmm. So they, they have their... <laughs> oh, my God. I don't get to that one. <laughs> <It's>, uh, <laughs> I haven't watched that much Whenever a TV show... I, I feel to me, when a TV show is, like, established when they are able to do, like, those thematic episodes. Like, And if they always have a musical, you're like... They're going to be on for a long time. Yeah. yeah. They're going to be on for a long time. Oh, man. This is one. 
it's not so much a musical as it's a movie with musical movie, uh, music in it. Uh, mm-hmm. The Lovely with oh, Kevin Klein. Yeah. Mm. That has a near and dear place to my heart. If you haven't checked yeah. that out and you do like uh, that type of anything goes type of stuff, check yeah, yeah, out yeah. that movie because it's about his life. Yeah. And it's really phena- phenomenal. And Kevin Klein is always. I mean, great. Kevin Klein is Kevin Klein. Yeah. Oh. He's He's a, plays always. Cole Porter. I, I, his I just. I just remembered one that completely blew my mind, this um, South Park musical. Oh. oh. That music was so good. Oh, my God, yeah. I totally forgot I, about that. It was that. so super catchy. Yeah. Um, yeah. Are you, are you talking about the, the musical episode, or are you talking about no, the, the, the movie? No, the actual full, like, full length, bigger, longer, uncut. Oh, movie, yeah. 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 That's what I meant. South Park or Book of Mormon. Those Book guys of Mormon. Are, oh, yeah, uh, Book, yeah of Book of Mormon. Mormon. Oh. But yeah, the South Park music is... The, the, the thing about that is... And the reason I think South Park has been around so long is people have the bar set so, so low, low for them mm-hmm. that the, the work they do is really phenomenal stuff. Yeah. So and it they know even what elevates doing. it even more to this, like, the yeah. guys from South Park did that? They're like, yeah, they're talented guys. Like, it's, you need to wake up. Yeah. It's kind of like Monty mm-hmm. Python. Like, they mm. they knew music. Yeah. and they Especially Eric Idle. Yeah, and Eric Idle's songs that they would write for... Um, for all those movies are impressively complicated. Yeah. Yeah. By the way, to try to play. Yeah, exactly. Every sperm is sacred for some reason. I was singing this morning. <laughs> <laughs> um, one specifically for a modern one. Uh, something I watched. I, so I took French in high school. Yeah. Uh, Francais. Uh, and I watched uh, Les Mis okay. in front. In fr- okay. In fr- but I watched the, the, the movie version, right? The mm. Liam Neeson one mm-hmm. with Jeffrey Rush, which I love. And then also when I realized like later on, like, you're an idiot. It's actually a musical. I was like, what? And then all of a sudden I saw the Hugh Jackman, you know, big Huge Tom- jacked man. Yeah. Uh, Tom Hooper movie <laughs> of it. Uh, yeah. And I was Anne like, oh, Anne this Hathaway. is a musical. And I watched that. I, I, I liked it a lot. And, you know, got uh, Anne Hathaway, the, the Academy Award for that. The thing I respect about that film is all the singing was done on set. Yeah. yeah the, so they did, it, they did it differently where they don't do a studio version. They do the singing on there and then they try to produce it afterwards. Which is the same with Across the Universe. They did that as well. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And they were saying it um, wouldn't work. It wouldn't work. And it, it worked. I, I, I yeah, have but to like, why? It. It's not even worth it. Just freaking do it. <laughs> do it the well, fastest and best so sounding way you can. Lip sync for me. Fine. Here's why I, I, I respect it a little more is because I have listened to the soundtrack from Greatest Showman and the way it's compressed and auto tuned, oh, yeah, yeah, it yeah, loses yeah. a lot of sure. soul. Yeah. It loses a lot of like I saw the rehearsal version of them and singing that, that soul, this yeah. is me or whatever it is. Uh, this is me, and then and I I cried, and yeah. then I listened to the recording and I was like, this is heartless. This is awful. Yeah. Everything oh, no. is compressed. I Raul, my buddy Raul, shout out to Raul, Raul, called it Imagine Dragons compression, where everything is at the same level. Yeah, so everything blends together. So the the music, the vocals, and and the the rest of the score is all at the same level. So you yeah. lose it all. It's all one sound. Yeah. yeah. Nothing separate from the itself. dynamics aren't very dynamic. So while I agree if it can be done well that you record it before, that might be the best way. But if it never go the route of greatest showman ever, please. Because <laughs> they, they're talented people, is what yeah. I'm trying to say. Yeah, and yeah, they yeah. lost it all because of technology. I like the movie. I'm not saying anything bad about the movie. I'm saying I the like way it was the recorded. Songs in it. Josh should have I hate uh, it when audio mom and mixed dad it. Fight. Well, I don't know if they're talented people. I think that might be the issue. I don't think like Zach. I think they had to fix Zach Efron. Oh, I don't know about him. I'm talking about the bearded lady and Hugh Jackman. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. The that's bearded crazy lady. Good. Yeah, that's, yeah. She was, but the other lady. lead. Yeah. yeah, never mind. They're they're. I I heard her has, sing has, in that live rehearsal from someone's iPhone, and it brought me to tears. Has, has everyone yeah. watched it in this room, or am I the only one? I haven't seen it. No, yet. I've seen it. You've seen it, yeah. Corey. No, mm-hmm. Ali, have you seen it? I'm not in the room, but yes. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Spiritually in the room. Okay. So I think uh, just because we're we're getting towards an hour, I'd like yep. to open it up a little bit. What's our what's your favorite aspect about a musical? Let's gush. Let's gush. Should we say like what our favorite what is maybe, favorites? and then what what about it? Why is what it our favorite? It? Might be a little easier to hone in on something. See, so here's a. Th- Do you okay. have something prepared? No, no, no. I was just gonna say if we wanted to talk about like our favorite aspect about musicals, or if we want to just say our favorite. Um. I'll, I'll kind of go in. I'll try. <laughs> I'll try. <laughs> okay, Tom. Um, at, le- at least for me, I don't know if, reason why. Like, to Corey's a bit, like, kind of just honing in a little bit of, like, Chi Chi Bang Bang. But, like, at least the ones I've been kind of more exposed to because of school, uh, the ones that I've watched. And I think most musicals, like the classic we talk about, like, always kind of ha- revolve around, like, an era or about, like, a dynamic change in, like, the way that we view things. And then yeah, the yeah. songs, in a weird way, kind of like how sci-fi allows us to digest 
harder topics like the music also kind of allows us to digest like mm-hmm, mm-hmm. these crazy crazy well rent is pretty heavy yeah like uh, kind of yeah. like that yeah, yeah and, but also like moulin rouge right like these crazy depths of human struggle but also like uh the vast range of like our the emotional spectrum as well yeah um and i think that's the one thing i've loved about musicals from my experience of it is it, it allows to accentuate all the things like kind of like we said before it's like where words kind of lost you know you continue in song yeah now yeah. you need music to back you yeah. back your emotions yeah so i've always liked that and then also now as an adult where i'm trying to become more sophisticated and grow a beard but it's never gonna happen um <laughs> is like watch these performances watch like see like what is you know conventionally known as like good performances or good x y and z yeah so like i i, I think like a cool thing is about it's it's a bit of like culture as well as tradition yeah that is continues to grow and now we're seeing a wider acceptance of it yeah yeah what about you uh ollie um i think kind of uh ali said it so perfectly yeah. earlier when it was something along the lines of um like like i, I can't speak this anymore yeah you, do you mind repeating that quote again ali? <laughs> i don't know if it was yours uh, or not the music like, happens in a musical when you it can no longer be said with words yeah there mm-hmm. you go that's and it. I think it's it's why I love music. It's why I, like I listen. I have to listen to some music every single day of my life, and it's because it it just it captures emotion. It's it how captures, feelings sound. Exactly, and I think there's so much more you can say in a musical number than like in spoken word, and it's and you know just brings up emotions. But and, also, it's so smart. Like you're able to make, uh, you know, a melody and all that stuff with dialogue. Yeah. And yeah. You know, if you have a rhyme into it, it's like, whoa. Yeah. Like whoever wrote this is a genius. Exactly. Yeah. Um. Exactly. Yeah. That's, yeah. that's pretty much it. <laughs> it kind of sounds like we're all gonna say that. Where yeah. it's just like there. I am not. Oh, no. oh, oh, no. oh I'm sorry. I was How putting. Dare you assume? <laughs> I know. I know. I'm such an ass. Shun the number. <laughs> I want to go a complete opposite direction. You guys are talking about like how it's so emotional and blah, blah, blah. I'm there for the absolute shallowness of catchiness. <laughs> like I love that Good Morning Baltimore comes on yeah. and I start like tapping my toes. Or if uh, like in Chicago, I just want to like hang on a jail cell and, and snap my fingers. Like it really is yeah. just. He had it and that's also why I like Rent. Like Rent is it. Can you make like a top 40 pop song come in the middle of a movie? I would I would love it. Yeah. That's a good. Yeah. Yeah, I absolutely. Got I agree with that. I'm such an ass, I assumed. <laughs> Let it go. <laughs> Let it go. Let it go. Oh, no. <laughs> Which brings us Speaking to our catchy. favorite <laughs> musical of all time. Musicals of all time. Uh, I, got, I got mine already. My favorite musical of all time is, especially movie musical of all time, Yeah, is Reefer Madness. Oh, wow. Yeah. Um, You got Alan Cumming. You got uh, Chris Campbell. You got Nev Campbell. Uh, Kristen Bell. It's a phenomenal cast. What it is, it is a satire. On the 1940s yeah. film, yeah. Reefer Madness, where uh, they literally did this propaganda about weed, where to like drive you insane. And this guy, Billy, like kills his girlfriend and his family to high. get money because he's high on marijuana. And like uh, <laughs> this musical was written in 2000, I think, and done as like a workshop and then a, a stage play and then became a musical. Uh, after that, and it's got kind of everything I love about musicals. It's got a narrator played by Alan Cumming, who mm-hmm. fucking kills it. Uh, you have Kristen Bell in this like super satirical like 1950s like happy go lucky girl, where she's like she has a line where she's like, "What are you doing at my window so late? It's almost 9 p.m." And like, <laughs> uh, you have a a lounge singer Jesus who mm-hmm. sings to Billy, and it's just. It's everything I want a, a movie musical to be. It's funny. It's raunchy. It's it got great. It's got Anna Gasteyer as well uh, in that uh, as a super as good. a junkie. It was always on my um, uh, employee picks when I worked at Hollywood Video. Mm-hmm. There would of course be The Big Lebowski. There would be Reefer Madness. There would be some other movies, but That's Reefer Madness it. was always if, up there if because you nobody's heard of it. Checked out that movie yet? Do yourself a favor. Find it wherever you can and watch it tonight. Yeah, because it's it, right now. It, it'll give you a good couple of laughs. Yeah. Joshy Josh? See, here's the thing. Uh oh. I split this into categories. So Greece. Just two. No, just <laughs> yeah, yeah, Greece. Greece <laughs> is my I if I were gonna talk about uh film, I would say the music man. Okay. It will always be my my favorite. Um I Robert Preston, Shirley Jones. Um it's just incredible. I just love the music in it. I love the story of it. I, I just love it. If I'm talking about musical as in the play. The Fantastics will always be my my favorite okay. musical. 
It's a very unknown musical, but it was the longest running musical on Broadway. Hmm. Anyway. Uh, <laughs> I, I guess if we're going to di- divulge it to two things, I mean, one play that I did see, I, it, like I saw because I had to do it for class. <laughs> Everything I did is for class. Um, I did see a... Uh, Dr. Seussical? Dr. Seuss? Uh, Seussical the Musical. The musical? That's, uh, that's a great one. And uh, uh, since I was in a fraternity, uh, in my fraternity, our, one of our uh, famous members, whatever it is, Dr. Seuss. Um, yep. So uh, we watched that. Uh, but then I think in movie, it's probably going to be Nightmare Before Christmas. Like, I yeah. go back to that and I just kind of think, it's just kind of in a, in a two in two places, like, it puts me in a good mood. Mm-hmm. Um, I like it a lot. And again, it, it, it gives me nostalgia. So... Yeah, nice. That's like, I remember Christmas is a, is a bigger movie than I thought it was. Thanks yeah. to the show. We've brought it up so many times on <laughs> so the show. So many times. It's it's a great one to go back to. Almost as much as The Thing. Almost. <laughs> <laughs> it's someday never we will. We'll have. do an episode on it someday. Never. Someday. 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 What about you, Allie? Uh, I, I think I mentioned this earlier, but Chicago. Chicago. Nice. I, I yeah. love Bob Fosse. And then seeing that like updated and done in 2002 compression, which is my favorite. Yeah, it would just like fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Um, I think mine uh live action, it would it would have to be Chicago as well. Mm. Um just something to the music, like yeah, and just the the atmosphere and everything about it, everything we've talked about so far. Um Aladdin, if I had to pick <laughs> like all time, it would have to be Aladdin. I think just the yeah. music is incredible. But I would be remiss if I didn't if I didn't shout out another musical. That's a good two dollar word, bro. Remissed. Yes. Uh, <laughs> and I might lose some respect, and that's totally okay. <laughs> I'm listening. Hey, I still love you. A modern favorite of mine is Frozen. No, no, no. And I don't care who knows it. <laughs> How many bands did covers of Let It Go? I'm just saying. Like, you're, you're fine. Like I've mentioned, I've worked on the, I worked on the karaoke. The, um, <laughs> and so I had to hear those songs over and over and over again. So Frozen for me is like... Dead to you. It's dead. <laughs> I let it go. That's the thing. I, I, it's <laughs> not to go. me because I haven't had as much exposure to yeah, it. No, I just saw it once. And like, I think I watched it like a second time. And then we went to like Disney. Well, anything can was... be ruined if you listen to songs yeah. enough or if like you're in it. Like you said about Greece, you did it three times. Yeah. I mean, it's like, yay. Okay, we're doing it again. What the fuck? Why are we doing this again? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's like we we were pushing for other shows and they were like, we're going to reveal the big show. Mm-hmm. It's Greece the third time. And we're like, God. Damn it. Yeah. We're 12 and we're pissed. Um, <laughs> if there could be, a, uh, can we have that last question? Of One if, last question. If there could be a musical made of any content out there right now, mm. what would it be? Oh, wow. That's, <laughs> that's much bigger than me. I thought. Uh, you, you nailed it for me before the show. Batman? Tom. Destiny? Ba- no. Batman. <laughs> Batman the musical. Batman the musical. Batman that was me, musical? not Tom. Oh, was it you? <laughs> we were starting oh. singing. We were all talking uh, about it. That's right. Then. We did start singing. <laughs> yeah, we started singing. I am the night. So wait, I am wait, the but, shadow. So it would be like that? Would it be like all... Saving the city. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Allie, do you have one? Yeah, well, this is coming not too soon, but oh. I have plans to make Power Hour the musical. I, w- I want to write a show... That's also a drinking game. That <laughs> holy shit! That is amazing. Okay, hold on. What what are we okay. drinking though? Beer. I Beer? mean, I mean, it's uh. Sh- have you ever done on a power hour? Of course. I was in a fraternity. Okay. Well, I have an album <laughs> that's a power hour, and I wrote one minute songs, and they're all about drinking. But I would love to like weave that instead of about drinking, but like write some sort of story. And when you go to the theater, you're also like playing along. It's like an interactive party in the audience. What is a power hour? Please explain for- Oh, it's yeah. a shot of beer every minute for an hour. Mm-hmm. And that's boring unless you have music. Yeah. Holy agree. shit. We, wow. so, so you listen to one minute songs, like, and every like time a, the like music changes. T- yeah, yeah. Just okay. like one ounce, we one used, and a half ounces. When I was in college, we used to do that. We had the CBL as a college beer, beer not, league. And not. so we would just do that and just play- Pong, like, but in the clean way. I know you don't. You're against beer pong, but like no, do, you've seen my video. We, we do, we, okay, the way we do it, we have only so the 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 ball the the the, the cups that you throw the ball it. into. It's all yes. water. So. Oh <laughs> yeah, yeah. You never play beer pong. Yeah, you just have your own beer. beer in your hand. You have That's your own terrible. beer because mm-hmm. so. the ball falls on the ground and it's like. No, yeah. I love it when it falls somewhere you don't it. know where it is, and you're like, oh, I have to look. We have to look for it. Yeah, it's in the bushes there. Oh my god. Um, 
Josh, do you have a do you have a? If well, see, I read that question wrong. Like you opened it way up because I was gonna say, oh, I'd, I'd it'd be interesting to see a wicked movie musical. Oh no, like no if no. they made a, a if movie there was musical. something that oh, hasn't yeah. been made a musical yet, like let's do let's like a, a movie. Like, you mean? Yeah, like let's do a rule. Like make this a rule where there, if it exists, there's a musical. So what would it be? Oh shit! Clueless. Yeah. Oh. Yes. Yes. Well, it works. Ooh, for... Back to the Future. Oh. Like with John Williams's help. That's really good. Um, That's really good. I like that a lot. I'm Josh, already imagining I've got to the, think about the musical it. numbers and that. Jason Mraz. I'd like to see like yeah. a, a Morty. musical. Dog. Morty. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I think uh I mean it worked it worked with uh He could have a rock ballad called Great Scott. <laughs> Legally Blonde. I'm trying to say <laughs> trying to say like six times. Legally Blonde is actually a phenomenal musical if you haven't seen it. Oh, yeah. so good. There's also yeah. a film the stage version. Oh really? Yeah. Check that out. It's pretty Ooh. awesome. They broadcast it on an MTV. <laughs> Wait, I remember that. <laughs> yeah. I totally remember that. That was back way a while ago. Uh, back when I had television. No, I wish. Yeah, okay. She could have killed it. Uh, Laura Bell if, Bundy, actually. If, if I had to pick The Shining. <laughs> Never speak ill. The Shining? The, the musical. What is wrong with you? I would love, I just That's like funny. the idea of horror and music at the same time. That would be interesting. Like Sweeney Todd. I would watch that just out of curiosity. The Shining, the musical yeah. would be up my alley for sure I would see that yes. there would be like a Sondheim esque song yeah. where it's it is kind of um, all work and no play makes um, Jack, Jack a dull boy. boy yeah there would be like a Sondheim X where he can barely breathe because he just keeps saying that over yep. and over and yep, over yep, yep, and yep. over again it'd be really cool um, I would do Power Rangers Oh damn! The reason why Mighty Morphin, Mighty Morphin. The reason okay. why is because when I was in school, kind of like your your director who made a movie mm-hmm. and they made or saw a movie, made a play out of it. Yeah, we had to do stuff like that for a thing called Greek Sing, where all the fraternities and sororities had to like make little ten minute sing along skits. Mm-hmm. And I did Power Rangers because I'm a fucking nerd, of course. Um, and that shit was hard. And all I want to do is see people get in and out of costume real quick because I want them to morph into their suits super quick because <laughs> that shit is so hard we were like yo we have two minutes we have like we have like 20 seconds oh, to get changes? out of outfits so quick and then these are like big bulky dumb bumbling you know bros who don't know anything so I'm like oh god it's like get on, get behind it go 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 or like get into zords and so I would love to see like a stage performance full Card- huge production cardboard zords oh my yeah we uh, I'll, card show you, I'll show you the card video zords. it's absolutely garbage <laughs> I would love to see that. All I would right. love to see a power. All right. I could dig that. I feel complete. <laughs> <laughs> I do. I think I'm going to start working on the Shining the Musical. Now. Oh my okay, god. Okay. Good. 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 I need to watch more While musicals. While singing when I'm my out of my this. daily life musicals from Allie. <laughs> yeah. When I get frustrated. Yeah. So, um, Allie, uh, where would you like to send our audience? I know that. Where would you, you like to steal our audience? <laughs> <laughs> That's yeah. right. Share. Unfollow Twitter. them so you can look at my content. Yes. <laughs> um, YouTube. If YouTube. you look for Ali Stagnola on YouTube, I will. Uh, we'll have all the links and whatnot yep, yep. on the posts mm-hmm. and um, for sure the linky links, the linky links for and the, the likey likes. Yeah, for the likey likes. You got YouTube, Twitter, Instagram. Those are the big Indeed. three that you uh, mainly push, or do you push something yeah. else? That's good. Okay, <laughs> cool. Solid. Um, solid. For us, everybody at home, you know the spiel. You can get us on nerdonthepodcast.com. All of our Social medias are on there individually um, for yep. the show. God, Tom Media. loves it when I say medias. social medias. Media. By love, I mean hate. Media. Um, catch us on our Patreon. Um, there's a lot of stuff that we've been able to do because of you guys, our patrons. Yes, thank Yay. you. Yay! Yeah, we um, That's really been incredible. Re- yeah, they more have, stuff coming soon. Yeah, so mm-hmm. much mm-hmm. more stuff coming soon. Um, Allie has a Patreon as well. Indeed, I do. Yeah. Go check that out, too. Check it out. Yay. Mm-hmm. Check mm-hmm. it out. Sweet. Even a dollar helps. Become a pallio first. Heck yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Even a dollar. Can you imagine what we can do with a dollar? A lot. A we lot. can make a 20 minute call with 10, 10, 3, 2, 1. Oh, my <laughs> God. <laughs> that was good. Or 10, 10, 2, 20. Yeah. <laughs> um, but Just 10 cents or more a minute after that. That's enough. <laughs> <laughs> make a musical out of that. <laughs> As always, Nerd on. on. Broadcast.